What's going on, everyone? This is Clayton Youngberg coming at you from AndroidAuthority.com, your number one source for all things Android. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to factory data reset your Samsung Galaxy S3. Now, you may need to do this if you're possibly selling your phone and you don't want your information passed on to others, or you might want to uh, send the phone back to the factory for some warranty work and you don't want them having your info. Um, just any reason you'd want to factory data reset your phone, there's many. So we'll take our uh, T-Mobile Galaxy S3 here, and the first method we're going to use is probably the most simple method. We're just going to go ahead and unlock our phone. You can see we have all of our data on there. I have uh, my music here and then our Media Hub, the widgets, usual stuff, the apps I've downloaded. And we just want to go into our settings. And then we'll scroll down until we see Backup and Reset. Now on the Backup and Reset menu, we're going to want to click Factory Data Reset. And it gives us the prompt. We will uh, you know, be erasing all of our accounts off of the phone. And uh, we're just going to be resetting the device. So we'll click Reset the Device and Delete All. That's all the personal information. Now mind you, the SD card is not going to be formatted. All of your pictures and music or anything stored on the SD card will still be there. And you'll need to take the SD card out for that uh, info and data to not be uh, stored on the Galaxy S3. So this one's factory data resetting and we're going to take our Sprint version of the Galaxy S3 and show you another method now. Now this method uh, is a little bit more technical but it is very useful. Um, we can go into our dialer here and then from our dialer we just type in the code star 2767 star and then 3855 pound and it does the factory format as you can see here after a few seconds it will reboot please do not touch any button so that's going to reboot and perform our factory data reset so both of our phones have booted into the initial setup menu that's indicating that we have performed a full factory data reset on each of the phones i'll take this opportunity to show you the final step or the, uh, the final process you can use to factory data reset your phone. We'll move our T-Mobile version out of the way. And we'll use our Sprint version. Now all this requires, you can do this from uh, any menu in the phone or any screen. You just simply hold the power button. You're gonna wanna turn the device off and we'll wait for it to fully shut down. Uh, you're gonna wanna wait till the lights go all the way off and you receive a final vibration indicating the phone has shut down. And then we're gonna wanna press a combination of buttons to actually boot the phone into its stock recovery mode. We're, gonna be wanna, uh, we're going to want to press the uh, power button, the volume up button, and then the physical home button and hold all three until we uh, see a small blue line of text up here. Then we'll let go of the buttons and uh, we'll be in our stock recovery mode. So we're holding our buttons now. See we got our text there and we let go. We get our Samsung Galaxy S3 um, logo there and now we will boot into the stock recovery. See we get our Andy there. Now we have our list of options right here such as reboot system now, apply the update and we can also wipe data factory reset. So we're gonna wanna use the power button to select the um, actual text and we can use our volume buttons to navigate throughout. So we'll select Wipe Data Factory Reset. We're gonna to wanna to scroll down to Yes and click Delete All User Data. You can see we're wiping the data and formatting the data. So there's our methods, you guys. Um, this is going to help you return your phone, sell it to someone else, or just possibly work some bugs out of your operating system by uh, performing the flash. So I hope this helped, guys. Uh, go ahead and try this out if you need to, and stay tuned with AndroidAuthority.com.